hi in this video i'm going to show how to install prof profile x in your live server so first i am in the website link where i want to install this website but currently i did not upload any files in the hosting that's why i am seeing this page so i have added an add-on domain profile.xyz and i am going to upload on that folder of this add-on domain uh, probably you will want to upload the files in public HTML or where whatever your add-on domain is and the pa uh, the folder of the add-on domain is so I am going to upload the file installable.zip file you will find find the installable.zip files in uh, after you download the file from Envato you will get this file installable.zip just upload this in your live server in the folder and now just extract this file so after the extraction is complete let's ref refresh this page and delete this zip file okay now let me create an database to do that I need to go my school database wizard I will give the database uh, a name mm. let's say profile x megasoft one underscore profile x underscore two point oh this is the database name so give a username of this database this is the username megasoft one underscore this now let me generate a password copy this ok I have used that password let me copy the password again now I am going to use that password which I just copied let me create this user and note the database name username and password so this is the password and this is the username and the database name so give all privileges to this user and click on next step the database have been created let me check it in the php my admin so we have created the database with this name so press ctrl f and search for this this is created here right now there is no table we will install it now so after i uploaded the files here let me refresh here and i will see a installer so this is the installer now click on check permissions these are the extensions required so if any of them are missing uh, just install it contacting your hosting support now i have to change the permissions of these folders so first of all core storage framework and core storage logs 2775 so let me go to core folder storage folder the framework and logs select them both pressing control or you can change the permission separately for each folder change the permission to 775 now refresh this page I can see these are tick check marked and core bootstrap cache let's go to core folder bootstrap and the cache change the permission of this folder now after refreshing the page I can see they all are check marked and now I can click on the verify license button here you have to give your email address and the Envato username and the purchase code 
this purchase code you will get after purchasing the item so give it uh, give the purchase code here so I am not going to show this step I am going to fill up this form and click on verify I am just going to pause this so after verifying the license I have um, I have came to this form where I have to put the database informations and some other information so let me start so give the app name here in my case this is profile x you will give your app name and the url is basically the base url and this is the website host you must give the website host correctly if you give it incorrectly then 404 error will be shown throughout your website and this is by default detected by the system this installer in my case uh, there are some hints here that if the url is like https slash example.com then the host will be example.com this one and if this is a subdomain the, the url is like that then the host will be this part so of course your yours will be a domain not a subdomain so be careful with the website host you can give this incorrectly if this is detected incorrectly then please correct it using this hint so then there will be database host my one is localhost this is and then i have to give their database name username and password i have noted them here so let me copy and paste them this is the database name this is the username and this is the database password which i created now click on install and it has installed successfully now click on click here to exit I can see this is installed successfully now I can go every file so you can go to the admin like slash admin and this is the admin panel the default credentials is admin admin so you can access the admin panel now so there's one important thing if you change the domain then please let us know with your purchase code in the support ticket and also after changing the domain change uh, change the website host name in the env file so go to the core folder let me go to the root folder this is the root folder then go to core folder and the env so please change the website or host here so if you once you change the domain also let us know the that you are changing the domain so give us your purchase code and let us know which domain you are going from which domain so this is how you will install the uh, profilex website so thank you for watching